Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to read data from a web API and save it to a JSON file using the ADF. My scenario is to read a product data from an online retail store web API and export the results to JSON file and store it in a storage account. I will be using a uh, fake store api.com. Uh, this is a website uh, where we will have a sample uh, web APIs. We can call any of this uh, uh, like APIs. We will be using one of this. Uh, let's verify the uh, product one. Click on this. So this is a JSON file. Uh, we are going to read. Okay. We are going to call this API uh, in ADF. So that will create one pipeline create a new pipeline so to call the api uh, we need the web activity i'm selecting the web read api go to settings and in the url uh, copy this products copy this okay. okay select method select the get because we are getting the data from this api so authentication mode keep it as none okay let's debug the pipeline able to read the data from the API just verify the data okay this is the response we got from the API and copying it this is the response uh, from the API it has all the product related information okay step is we need to export this uh, this response to a JSON file so for that we'll be using a copy activity We'll take on copy activity connect send okay source so our input our input to the copy activity is the output from the web activity so we don't have any source so I'm just using a dummy file this is how the dummy file looks okay it's a dummy file with no data just added one test column okay we are going to use this as a source that I will create one text file can browse source okay unselect the first choice header click ok preview okay nothing is there in the file it's a blank file okay next we'll be adding additional column JSON file data and I will be using the add dynamic content we will be using the output from the web activity read API output dot and we will be needing this parameter response put dot response so it will give the JSON output click OK, okay. next sync create a new file do okay selecting the text file click okay i 
I'm selecting the first row as header. Uncheck this one. Target. Click OK. Click OK. And uh, open the data set. In the file path, give the name of the JSON file. So even though I selected the file as a text, I need the output in the JSON format. So I am giving it in the JSON format. And uh, coming to, uh, if you if you see the uh, response from the web activity, we are like seeing lot of backslashes and uh, double quotes. So I want to exclude this and skip this. For that, I am selecting the quote characters as no code characters and escape character as no escape characters. Okay. Okay. And go to pipeline, validate it. Okay. Oh, coming to mapping. Sorry. Coming to mapping. Uh, import schema. Okay. We need something to validate this. So I am giving a some test value. Click OK. Remove the first column. You no need of this. Delete. Okay. This is our calculated column JSON data file, and we are pointing it to the column in the destination. Okay. Okay. Validate the pipeline and debug. Okay. Pipeline got succeeded. Let's verify the inputs and outputs for the. Uh, our activities first we are reading the api and it will give the response as a json format then in the next step we are using the copy activity and we are creating additional column and our output is we are placing the file in the storage account okay Okay, let's go to storage account. Cancel. Target. Yeah, this is our file. Good. Yep, this is our JSON file, which we extracted from the fake store API dot product. See, it it looks exactly same. Okay. We can also validate this JSON data. Uh, there are some sites to validate it. Like okay, okay. This is our JSON output. Copy this. Okay, paste it. Okay, this is how like this JSON data is like converted into a tabular format. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye, take care.